not everything is terrible or bad news for Microsoft when it comes to Xbox. Uh, there's some stuff that they do where, you know, it's just kind of a win. And that's sort of like this information here. Uh, you know, again, it's not going to be something that drastically alters the console wars or anything like that. But it is something that is kind of interesting and I think at least sort of funny um, due to the fact that, you know, we, we're kind of living in this world where Sony has been dominating so much that they can do whatever they want, whether it's not have a... Uh, you know, a showcase or talk about games or, you know, not keep the public informed. Uh, you know, they, they've really kind of dropped the ball, you know, the first party and things like that. I feel like Sony's had a, a disastrous generation from a lot of standpoints, uh, but they're still selling well. You know, the PS5 is still selling well and people are excited by it. So, you know, again, Microsoft can't get out of their own way long enough to really uh, let any of the negative stuff that Sony does negatively impact Sony. So, yeah, sort of a, a weird situation for that. But I want to get into this because this is actually funny and good news for Microsoft. We'll see how long this can keep up, but I still think that it's something worthy of a uh, video uh, personally anyway. So let's get started. I'm Crap Gamer. This is Crap Gamer Reviews. Back with yet another video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. You know, get that like button slapped around a little bit. And maybe even consider, you know, subscribing. That would help the channel out tremendously. Uh, definitely means a ton to me. So thank you guys. With that being said, uh, again, this is something that came as a little bit unexpected. And I think the reason why it's unexpected was because Sony was basically doing whatever the hell they wanted and was basically getting away with whatever they wanted and this is just more of sort of that problem in my opinion where sony maybe got caught up trying to do that again and weren't actually able to do so so yeah very very interesting stuff here uh i can't wait to get into it but um again this is surprising. Xbox Series X sales in Japan increased considerably following the PS5 price hike announcement. If you didn't know, the PS5 got a price hike in Japan, uh, and a lot of that had to do with Wukong selling so well, and Sony was kind of getting some of their PS5s over to China. But, you know, again, raising the prices is crazy. So Xbox Series X sales have increased significantly in Japan following the announcement of a PlayStation 5 price increase, which goes into effect next week. As reported by Automotion, one of Japan's biggest retailers, the console reached number 8 in games and consoles charts, which is an amazing result considering the system wasn't even in the top 100. With the PS5's price increase, the Xbox Series X has become an enticing purchase and it now costs the equivalent of $100 less. Now, in addition to this, it seems like it has become difficult for Japanese players to even purchase a PS5 system as the pre-rise stock has completely sold out at most retailers. Now, considering how much Xbox Series X and S have struggled in Japan since release, this is definitely good news for Microsoft as it gears up to release new models of both systems, including a Series X all-digital model coming with a 2TB solid-state drive. On the other hand, the negative sentiment surrounding the PS5 couldn't have surfaced at a worse time, with Sony supposedly preparing to launch the PS5 Pro early next month. The increased specs over the base and PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaler, which will make the system feel even more powerful than it actually is. Uh, it may not be enough to convince Japanese customers to pay more to play titles that are also coming to Xbox Series X, such as the upcoming Monster Hunter Wilds, which has been cited by many on the Japanese social media as the game that made them want to purchase a PlayStation 5 in the first place. So, yeah, this is a little bit of a weird situation um, that this has happened. You don't really see Xbox do very well in Japan. And again, the fact that it rose here could mean that it sold a thousand units, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like all of a sudden going to sell, you know, 10 million units in Japan because I don't think that's how it's going to work ever uh, for Xbox. But it goes to show that people are at least uh, saying, hey, you know what, uh, Sony raised prices. We can't even find a PS5. You know, we're willing to buy an Xbox uh, Series X and especially considering that the Series S is also available and the fact that people are buying the series x over that i think is pretty interesting to say the least um for me anyway i think that when we see 
how the Xbox is doing, uh, you know, a lot of us have probably different takes and things like that. Um, you know, the fact that PlayStation is beating Xbox in Xbox's home country here in the U.S. is very ironic. Uh, the fact that, you know, Xbox is kind of outselling some PlayStations right now in Sony's home is a little bit ironic as well. So, you know, again, we'll see how it all pans out. I don't exactly see any world where the Xbox is suddenly going to, you know, sell millions and millions of copies in Japan and, you know, just slap PlayStation around. Like, I don't see that ever happening. So, you know, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, man, that's so great. You know, they're kicking the crap out of, you know, PlayStation and they're going to dominate them, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever see that happening. So, you know, we can kind of get that thought process out of our minds uh, completely. <laughs> you know what I mean? But still, nice to see and nice to see people reacting um, a certain way with this stuff. Because again, uh, I think Microsoft, whenever they seem to have good news, they always follow it up with some kind of awful announcement or confusing announcement or something that makes people not want to buy an Xbox, you know, which is funny to me because, you know, Xboxes are a, a fine console, man. I, I'll never disagree with anybody who says that the Xbox consoles are, are good consoles and, you know, and I feel like the Xbox Series X is a fantastic console, maybe one of the best of all time. They've just done such a good job with it. Yeah, it's lacking games, it's lacking some things or whatever, but... It's, it's not a bad console. It's not a bad platform. Um, obviously, I think there's a lot of us who are, you know, seeing that a lot of Xbox fans maybe are a little bit too concerned with, um, I don't know, certain aspects of video game culture or whatever. Like, hey, you know, they're selling a lot of games or they're selling games on PlayStation. As long as they're doing that, they're quote unquote winning. Um, I don't really look at it like that. You know, I'll always push back against that and feel like you need, you know, competition in order to be able to, um, you know, push the industry forward. Like, how can you have an industry do anything without the competition being there? You know, so that's that's always where kind of I stand on this stuff, subject. But again, you know, Microsoft props to them. They, they get out there. They do some of this stuff. They get people excited about, you know, the product a little bit uh, in these other countries or whatever. And listen, I know that I'm the type of person to say, OK, exclusives certainly matter, um, which they do. Right. Exclusives matter 100%. I think they are hugely important. But I'll also say that 99% of the time, you know, 98% of percentages of, of, of gamers uh, are definitely, um, you know, the fact that we're all playing sort of multi-plats and things like that. So, you know, I think we all have to kind of keep that in mind as we go forward, you know, like we're all very much kind of hung up on the multi-plats being the best, you know, the games that we all play the most. It's like, you know, and, and this is just reality. It's like the majority of people are playing a, a Madden or a Call of Duty or a FIFA or, you know, something along those lines. And so, yeah, I, I think that it's going to be very interesting to see how all this stuff works out. But I'm also very curious to see how, like, the fans and stuff react to this kind of stuff, right? Like, okay, it's selling well over there. Is it selling well over here? Like, we did hear that there was some some decent sales for the Xbox Series consoles thanks to the, uh, the college football game. You know, a lot of people. And the reason why is because so many people associated college football with Xbox. Like, the 360 was the place to play. Uh, the college football games back in the day and so when we look at it now we go okay well kind of what changed and 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 what hasn't changed um you know i, I think that it's easy to kind of look at that and go okay well um you know xbox would still be a, the place to play people many people don't know about sort of the little things and the ins and outs of video gaming the way that us hardcore know about it you know they're like oh well, I have to get a new Xbox to, to play these games on it. And, and that's how they look at it. And, you know, I, I don't think that's wrong. I, you know, I, I think that's probably the most intelligent way to go about it. You know, get the most out of your console. You know, some people maybe didn't buy a console for a decade. And that's, uh, that, that's very interesting uh, to me 
and it shows that you know Xbox could still have some things going for themselves in the future. So uh, anyway, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you surprised that you know Xbox is doing well in Japan at this particular moment? I mean, obviously doing well is subjective, but uh, let me know below. I'll link this article in the description. Thanks for watching. Rack 'em up, Crab Gamer out.